Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, Mithridates of Pontus campaign. We are in stage 5 of 7. Uh, when we last left off, we had just barely defeated the Romans uh, again. And um, thank you to the commenters and through the other pe to the other people who have given me tips uh, elsewhere about how to improve at the game. Um, I, I think I've got a decent idea about the game, but I'm continuously learning more. Um, I actually have probably like 50 hours in it, which isn't that much compared to some people, but for me that's a lot in the game, and I really appreciate the feedback and support. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, the little blurb up in the corner told us that, yeah, we defeated the Romans, but they came back, and uh, now they're, they're back once more um, after defeating us, and this time... Mithridates himself is leading the battle, so that should be pretty exciting. Hopefully that means that our commander-in-chief is a little more uh, powerful than we're used to. But I think it's still a two-square, two um, what do you call it, kind of zone of control. So their impact is, is two squares wide. All right, so this is going to be a big battle. Um, and thanks again to the helpful tip about how many, kind of how this number describes the amount of troops that are deployed versus the amount of troops that can be deployed. Um, so it looks like they start off with basic imitation, you know, kind of a mix of, of everything. Enemy line is here, it's a little broken up, but there's a lot of decent open ground. Um, actually, let me rephrase that. Okay, so this is actually a low hill. There's only a little bit of ground here. Uh, this could hopefully see. So they're not that bad of hills. Uh, it's only a 50 height hill. Um, sometimes I've seen 100, so. And then there's some rough ground, some tracks, so that'll be speedy. All right, so this doesn't look too bad. We can probably put our, our medium troops here, core phalanx here, um, maybe more if I'm able to rush I can probably get a phalanx line up here and then be able to use cavalry. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's autofill because you all know how I feel about that. All right, so there's 17 points left over. Are there troops that I hate that I would be able to utilize? You know, I'm pretty happy with a lot of these. I honestly wouldn't mind having fewer javelin horses. Um, Let's see what happens if I get rid of both of those. Because the maneuverability is nice, but not not that nice. All right, and if I get rid of all the javelin men, yeah, that's a lot of troops missing, but, I mean, the option's there for more, because... Excuse me, that's some water. Um, look, I can get another imitation legionnaire, and so why... Why not? Um, I am going to be fighting Roman legions, so I'd rather have that. And I still have 107 um, to play with. So obviously I'm missing some of the light cavalry movement ability, but I'm not going to miss that too much, to be honest. All right. And then the... Let's see, I have 107 points. So part of me kind of wants to throw out some some of these, the Falksman, just because I haven't really used them that much. Um, let's see, there's a cohesion test modifier in open versus heavy foot or mounted. You know, maybe that's not exactly what I want because they're a bunch of shirtless guys with really badass weapons. Um, however, looks like these guys will come in handy, particularly since there's some uneven terrain. Um, and then, let's see, 65 points. I could do... I, I'm very thankful to uh, the person whose name I'm, I'm totally blanking on, I'm sorry, uh, who filled me in on how this quantity and cost uh, thing works. It's, it's pretty obvious um, if you think about it, but I, I guess I hadn't really thought about it in the proper way. Um, so if I want to put up the Thracians, which I'm tempted to, I don't have enough points to do any other uh, troops. So then that leads me back with the javelin men, javelin men. And you know what? By gum, I'm going to do it. And I know that uh, 
if, if anybody's listened to other battles in this, but if not, um, basically, and then I'm going to auto deploy. I'm going to see what they say. Ooh, I don't, I don't know about some of these. There we go. That's better. Um, I, I've basically complained about the Javelin Men in most of the battles, and uh, part of that's from probably my lack of understanding on how to handle them, and that's because I am a little self-aware, but uh, that's also just because I, um, I appreciate the usefulness of them, but I don't really care too much. And you know, before the battle started, I talked about fitting in a phalanx right over here, and of course, a bunch of imitation legionnaires, which I suppose makes sense given uh, how history goes, that they would, uh, that the Pontic forces, myself, would use that to um, use technology advances to help better fight the Romans. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this back line a little bit back just because, yeah, these are not my strongest troops, and they'll be able to fill in and do some work. And then let's move our cavalry over here, move one of them up, move you on this corner, and then I'm just going to keep this line wider, um, because chances are I'm going to be flanked on one side or another, and might as well be able to head that off. Um, scythe chariots, unprotected, so they will totally just disappear if I attack poorly. Um, so good to know. I have a ton of light troops here, which I'm not entirely against, but I think it makes sense to mix, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I think it makes sense to mix um, different types of uh, light infantry and skirmishers because, I mean, my heart's telling me it doesn't, or no, my brain's telling me it doesn't matter, but my heart's telling me that uh, the one-two punch of javelins or slingers plus uh, some arrows can cause units to get disrupted more quickly. Um, I should really check the manual again. There's a really great manual for this game. Uh, but instead, I'm just kind of talking out of my behind about it. Um, this is a lot of light troops, but Eastern Archers, Eastern Slingers, I like to think their chances are pretty good of messing up something, especially if there's light troops here. This Scythe Chariot can be used on those light troops and... Uh, cause some trouble. So let's let's get started and see how the Romans deploy. Alright, so they mirror me to an extent. So quality is superior, elite superior, superior, superior. Okay, so their legions are very nice. Uh, if you'll notice down uh, kind of at the bottom where it says type heavy foot quality average armor some armor whereas here it says armor armored so um, we're not exactly gonna be fighting um, you know man to man we're gonna be at the disadvantage so I do have more units and that's good um, we also have some heavy artillery here let me move the map back over there so these, in my experience, um, they're usually not a problem, but they can kind of make or break a, a gain engagement. Um, I haven't had much luck with them, but again, it might just be from my lack of uh, understanding on how to best utilize it. Um, but what I have done in past battles is I've been able to use some cavalry, and you know how in some of the past battles our cavalry has just chased way over the map, um, some fleeing troops, especially these type of horse, uh, light horse archers or javelin men. Um, and then it, once they uh, finished routing those or chasing the routing units across the screen, uh, I was able to actually attack these and kill them pretty easy. Um, so it just helps with the, the battle. And I'd like to imagine kind of from the, the perspective of the ancients that turning around and seeing that the, the troops behind you are getting killed by cavalry usually isn't a very good morale booster. Um, so I think it kind of checks out. So let's move forward with all of our skirmishers, because why not? Um, likewise here. It doesn't seem to me... Actually, I'm going to move forward way more with you guys. I probably should have moved forward a little less, because they'll probably be able to shoot, I think, um, that first turn, but we'll be all right. And then let's move forward again with 
these units. Um, I can turn whole command. I love when I can turn a whole command. I think that's five squares away. Then you can still move uh, everybody as a group. Um, but if you are closer, then you're unable to do so. I wouldn't mind seeing more key binding abilities in the future. Um, when I was fooling around with some of the epic battles, there was one, uh, a Thermopylae, not that one, but uh, one with Galatians and um, some group of Greeks, and I'm forgetting who. Um, but basically, you even though the units in the back are five squares behind, they're not no longer able to move cohesively. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing kind of a mass selector tool, unless that already exists, and I'm an idiot. And in, in that case, I apologize to uh, the viewers. So I'm going to do unturn. I think we're in pretty good shape here. So part of my consideration is Number one, where is this elephant? Um, and so note that the javelin men are there, so I'm going to utilize those guys as much as I can. Huh. As I was talking, of course, looks like... See, that's kind of the danger. Um, apparently... Uh, yeah. See, I caught myself, but too late. I was close enough for them to actually charge, not just waste a couple um, arrows on me or in those cases, javelins, but those were horse archers, jeez. That's insane, I have, they got lucky on that combat with, uh, to have such heavy losses, losses in fragment in my army. Yeah, you know what, I've done screwed up. In uh, higher difficulties, that would have been really bad, um, but I think my difficulty, I forgot what it is, I think it's on the third level right now. Let's see, can I see that? I clicked settings to see if I can see. Oh god, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Alright, so we're still on the second level of difficulty, but I think uh, everyone can agree that based on my performance last battle, you know, maybe that's fine. Um, I'll continue to play at higher difficulties on my own. Um, I do feel like a very um, non-compelling campaign would be one where I spend my days uh, basically replaying the same scenario because I can't possibly win. So I will do what I can. All right, so we got Crate and Archer, Slinger, 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 Javelin Men. I don't want, um, because they're armed with a light spear, I don't want the Scythe Chariots to uh, run into them. Just because light spear is better than no spear, especially against something that's horse-based. Um, now, I don't want my javelin men to die, but I do want to use that one-two punch theory that I've been... See, that's what I'm saying, one-two punch, you know? Um, and so slingers plus archers disrupt. Come on, yep. Okay, see, I think that really helps. Um, and so then we're going to move this... Let's just move them here, because I want them... I don't want them to shoot them up too much. All right, now over here, you know what? These guys are pretty much useless against the Legionnaires. Um, for example, let's see. Um, ooh, there is Lucillus. Or Lucullus? Lucillus? Um, see, six. That is pretty garbage. Um, they can move two spaces, so let me just stand right here and see what happens. I wouldn't mind trying to bait them a little closer. Um, and knowing what I know now, let's just uh, start to move those archers to be able to... Well, might as well shoot. It's a little far away. I think I'll kill four. Ah, seven. Better. Um, hmm. So everybody is steady. You know, I am going to move forward two spaces. Um, and the reason for that is I still have the high ground, everybody's steady, no one's disrupted, everything's beautiful. Um, actually, you know what, King Mathrodatis? I am not going to let you in the front line. I'm going to let you sit back a little bit and act as a tempting target. Because I would love to kill Mr. Elite Armored uh, Commander-in-Chief here. Um, 
I still feel okay about all this. I don't think I'm going to get outflanked. Um, everybody has spears where the elephant is, and there's some javelin men, like we discussed. So I think that I'm in pretty good shape. Got some javelin men here, just to, uh, I don't know, hold down the fort, I guess. And, and then these units, uh, the Thracians and the 304i, will be helpful in dealing with anybody that's coming out here. I think I'll still be able to swing some, some units out. All right, now to handle with this little goofy uh, strategic error on my part. I think what I was saying before I got distracted with uh, how noob level I am was that um, on the higher difficulties, I definitely would have, um, like that could have been the battle right there because all of a sudden a bunch of my skirmishers were severely threatened. Um, but I think I am okay. And so I'm going to do something stupid, and I'm going to charge, even though they have the high ground. Thank you. I was hoping they would evade, just because I want to disrupt all these things, because I want my units to be able to march out, and more importantly, I want my cavalry to be able to maneuver a little better. So with that being said, I'm actually going to attack here too, because they're always going to win that engagement if for some reason they actually do engage. Um, but also because the sooner I can get my cavalry into the flanking position I want, the better I'm going to be. So I am going to turn him. All right, so this isn't terrible. These guys are open from the flank, so that's not good. But at the same time, if they engage, all it's going to take is my cavalry to attack them and problem solved. So let's move forward. And that's why you always keep yourself two spaces away from the legions. I mean, it's not like the javelin then would have stood and fight, fought rather, but I don't know. Dumber things have happened in the ancient world. Uh, so today, on the day of recording it, is uh, the 30th of November, which is a auspicious day because there's the re release of two things that I've been looking forward to, two DLC. Um, one of them is the Empire Divided Total War update. Um, that's the campaign of Aurelian and Tetricus and uh, Xenobia. Looks pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to play it yet because this is kind of my, my go-to passion right now, but I'm really interested in that kind of latter latter day Roman history um, before it's separated fully into Eastern and Western, and um, that's exciting. And then the other thing that came out is uh, an update to Order of Battle, which is another great Slytherin game. I, I can't say enough good things about it, um, but it's all about World War II, and this is a DLC. Uh, I think it's called Panzerkrieg. Panzerkrieg. Um, I think the latter was correct, the pronunciation there. Um, but that's all about a uh, continuing Russian campaign. So it it starts off where another DLC left off, where basically you didn't quite reach Moscow as the Germans, and now you're just fighting your way um, through part of that slog of a campaign. But really fun game, really fun gameplay. The last DLC was awesome, set in Burma. Um, so highly recommend that if you haven't played it. But if you're watching these videos and bought the game or enjoy the game uh, for Field of Glory 2, I think Order of Battle is a good way into the the World War II realm, even if it's not your preferred um, um, preferred kind of theater or time period. And uh, I got distracted there, so okay, cool. I've already pulled off one legion. That's great. That means all the few are here, and that means that if they do try to outflank me, they, they won't be able to. Over here, we're still in good shape. And uh, there is some confused jumble of a mess right over here, so I'm assuming someone was hiding in the woods. Or they're just trying to go around? I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. So first things first, let's move the scythe chariots over there. You know, I'm just going to keep on going on this side. Um, let's see what happens. Archers. And javelin men. I'm telling you, there's there's truth to that. I accidentally um, 
clicked charge. That was sucked. All right, now let's see slingers and archers. Hmm, held firm. Interesting. Let's see how they respond to you. a little bit of uh, javelin throwing. Oh, those are horse archers too. Well, still worked. And then, um, let's see, they have 292, they have 228. I don't know, let's shoot them, see what happens. No, nothing. That's okay. I feel good. Um, I'm not going to move any of my... Actually, I'm going to move these up here. But I, otherwise, I'm not going to move any of my units further. Ooh, you know what? I will move these. Oh, shoot. I can't turn. That's okay. Um, because I'll bring these guys in here. And I can turn these. Um, so basically, uh, Mithridates has a two, I'm pretty sure, two square zone of control, which should mean that he is able to have a benefit to this part of the line. And that's where Lucullus, Lucullus is coming. So I'm just going to say Lucullus from now on. It sounds nicer. I'm sorry if I am incorrect. Um, and they have some armor, as I said earlier. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, I'm also going to move these guys forward and just going to go ahead and move those forward because I have a feeling that they're going to be maneuvering around more. In fact, I'm going to move them over there. All right, that looks good. I'm going to move these up as well, actually. But I'm going to hold the javelinmen back because they're just going to kind of be a body at some point. All right, and then what to do with these guys in no man's land? Let's just keep on, keep on running away, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Screw you guys. They'll evade. And so, you know, this is a unit where I'm a little lot more concerned about the uh, effic efficacy of, um, especially if the commander-in-chief decides to attack that way to get at Mithridates. So we'll do that. All right, and on this side, what do we have here? Uh, our old friend Vitruvius has returned. At least I think he's our old friend. It sounds like a familiar name. All right. Horse archers, 12. That's actually not terrible. Um, I'm just going to let those guys hang out in the back. I don't want, really want them to get um, attacked or otherwise um, in trouble. Not really good. So I could charge here, but I'm guessing they would either evade, or if they didn't evade, the legions would be able to do something about it. But I will do what I can to break up these guys. Um, uh, evading, darn. You know, that's fine. These, these cavalry won't be able to change. Uh, but that does mean that I'm going to use these. Uh, armored cavalry units to handle some problems. Likewise, I'll move these up. And let's see, two, one, two. So let's just move them right here. And uh, one, one, two. Ah, well, all right. <laughs> Math. How does it work? All right, let's see what happens here. Evading? Good. I hope they lose their pila. I do like when the... Wow, interesting. That was the commander-in-chief. Oh my god, seriously? Well, I knew that was a danger. Huh. I remember when I was reading about Roman history and listening and all that stuff, there are all these things about... Um, sacrifice of animals or readings of entrails or, or what have you to to show battle omens and if it wasn't favorable they wouldn't attack um, how much of that was kind of post-battle 
discussion, you know, where, oh, yeah, they, they read the entrails and uh, the battle went terribly because they ignored the entrails. Um, and how much of that was actual, I, I'm not sure. But what I'm trying to say is that I think that uh, it was not a very auspicious um, reading of the entrails based on how this battle started. <laughs> All right. Sith chariots are still good. Scythe, pardon me. Long day at work today. Lots of talking. Okay, I zoomed all the way out, uh, apparently. Oh, that's why I pushed the wrong key. That is a really cool view. I was not aware I could zoom out that far. Well, I um. I'm in good shape, I think. All right, first and foremost, let's just charge. Interesting, they held firm. Oh, good. Because I don't want these guys to enter the battle again. All right, 18, and please get disrupted. No, interesting. All right, what about you? No. Well, we have ways of making you get disrupted. No. Those guys are tough. I don't know what to tell you. But tough enough. All right, well, that'll help. So with that side sufficiently disrupted, I think it is time. Let's move you up. Let's move you there because these Scutari are going to be a problem. Scutari? I'm never sure how to pronounce that word. I should probably look this up before the, the videos, but alas. Um, let's just run away. I'll have the pass through ability. And then can't really turn around at all. That's fine. Um, however, let's go here so you don't get the high ground. Let's move here. Let's just about face you. Uh, I kind of regret that, actually. It would have been really great to have the Romans duck into the lines and be able to attack them from more sides. Um, so I am going to leave that guy open and put the javelin in here. And that means I will move this unit forward so that when they do attack one of these units, I will have the ability to fill that in. Um, and similarly, I am going to put this units right here so these guys can't fall back if they attack. Um, I mean, might as well just, just route, I guess. Rest in peace, little buddies. I, uh, that was my tactical folly. Yep, and just... Oh, great, the riding. Well, no one's going to care about those guys, so as expected, <laughs> there were... Uh, zero disruptions because of that, just kind of the way it is. Let's pretend they were uh, auxiliaries, so who cares? Um, all right. They are on a hill. Darn, that uh, could have gone better. And uh, let's just move away. Let's back away quietly. And we'll kill two of them, so that's not really worth our time, is it? So this is where I'm going to do something a little silly. I just want him to hold this unit. And it worked. Perfect. Um, so basically what I wanted to do is, um, number one, keep him here uh, because I'm kind of in a spot. Number two, I want to... Um, kind of start to adjust these units. I can't turn these at all. But what I want to do is this. This unit block that unit, which means that the sub general isn't going to be able to escape. I'm attacking him. Let us continue to mess with the javelin here. Evading, evading. Hopefully I can charge him. No, evading. All right, well, chase them off successfully. So this is going to be the biggest problem, I think, is this unit that's facing entirely the wrong direction. It's going to have to loop all the way around here. 
Um, but hopefully these units will continue to win, and uh, or not continue to win, but win, and we'll be able to do something about it. Um, now let's just well, you know whatever kill two people. Yeah, three. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's let's leave that. And it begins. Oh yes, disrupted. That is lovely. Okay. First two combats went well. First three combats went well. All right, perfect. I was hoping that would happen. Interesting, elephant cutting in. Excuse me, I was uh, enjoying some pomegranate juice. All right, so I'm actually more evenly matched than I expected, especially with some with how some of those combats went. Um, I really want to press my advantage on this flank here before they're able to to really get any of these units up. Still retreating, still retreating. I think I'll be able to reach him. Great. Ha. Huh. You think three horses is enough? Or three kills is enough? Hmm. These guys are going to be annoying. I think I'm just going to have to waste a cavalry unit chasing them off, but really, not the worst thing in the world. Ah, oh, this guy's shooting somebody. My best laid plan to just failed miserably. And rallied. Perfect. Evading? You son of a gun. That's not what I wanted at all. Well, you know, they say best laid plans. Um, however, this guy's stupid because now all of a sudden he's in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, what up, everybody? Now I've got some cavalry behind you. Um, I don't know, let's, uh, let's just turn. Meanwhile, just attack. We have the high ground. And that's going to be a long and stupid combat. He's routing, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, let us about face, that will be helpful. About face. And um, I can't even. Well, I can kind of turn. Well, let's kind of turn. They're definitely going to go for that unit, but I don't know. Flank attack is better than a rear attack, is what I always say. All right, now let's bring these guys around. Let us bring these guys because we know where these units are going to be. Um, I'm not going to commit them here. Or maybe I will. Shoot. I like my odds, but I'm going to I'm going to hold there. Um, these guys we we are going to attack. Yeah. See, it's it's too good <laughs> to have this opportunity to really get a flank. Oh, shoot. But held firm, important. All right, so let's go back to that um, in a minute to fight the rest of that center. Let's plan out this. Um, so I do want to do what I had said, which is break them. Uh, more pomegranate juice, delicious. And. Uh, Let's do what I can to prevent any of uh, any of the friends of that unit from getting a chance for revenge. I think the slingers would uh, 
won't handle it too well uh, getting charged by one of those guys. But there's the chance that they'll just retreat into the woods and my chariot will be entirely powerless to, uh, to do anything, which is just some bridge that we'll have to cross. All right, nice. So that went well. Now let's continue to make things go. Oh, I totally forgot about that guy. Well, let's just see if we can route him. Now, well, hopefully they'll keep on running away. I forgot that they were in the woods. That's why the woods are so darned worrisome. All right, so we've pulled away on Hasutari, and uh, still not going to do anything, to be honest. Um, same. Might as well keep this one going. Again, like my odds. Still like my odds. All right. Great. So I really wish I could press my advantage here, but I can't actually attack anybody. Um, so what I'm tempted to do is utilize these. You know what? I am going to do that. Let's see, 10, 74, 16 on the charge. And this is 0, 46. Okay, well that just made it my decision. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and 1% uh, 44. You know, let's just hang out. It's fine. <laughs> let's leave it, leave it be. Um, but what happens if I charge with you guys? God, see those are still pretty good as far as odds go. Um, particularly because these are um, disrupted. Let's see, okay, yeah, that's what I was hoping for the first time. So what I can do now is either I might just sit there because what I was thinking basically is do I want to attack here, uh, tie them up, and then continue to push? But then that means I would only have two units that were dedicated to these, possibly four. Um, and that's not something I'm willing to do. So I'm going to hold back and uh, leave it be. I'm also not going to rush into battle here. I want to make them kind of force something. Uh, I do want to pin down these guys. I always want it to be a two to one here. It's hard for me to, to consider how that could have gone worse. Um, but I will charge there. And then I think this will be my last combat. Jesus. <sighs> All right, that's it. End of turn. Those guys are riding into the woods. Hopefully they don't come back. All right. So I'm glad I stayed because while they absolutely rustled those guys, I am in a much more um, advantageous position now. And it is two to one, but these Romans are in very bad shape now. And the Sitaria are falling for my handy-dandy scythe trick of just having the chariots run away. Hmm. Okay, fragmented. Okay, I lost that. Alright, retreating into the woods, so fun. Let me turn the battlefield. So the slingers are killing my chariots slowly. But not enough. I have disrupted. Hmm.
All right. Who are these guys? You should get a promotion. All right, not bad. Disrupted and pushed back, not ideal. That uh, sharp exhale was my nerves about this battle. Okay, good. At least that went well. I mean, it is what it is, but but hey. Um, so I'm just gonna chase that guy. That's that's the easy kind of no-brainer attack. Because um, I mean, why not? It's fun. Um, these are disrupted, but you know what would make them not disrupted? Getting away from these guys. Come on, rear attack. Nope, not enough. All right, that's fine. Now. Um, here are our good friends, the Armored Cavalry. Let's just screw with this line. This is a uh, subgeneral, Arcadius, son of Zotiakos. And uh, these are raw legionnaires, attacked from behind, don't seem to do anything. Uh, but I do want to, you know, this unit isn't doing well, so I kind of want to throw them off over there. Um, so let's continue this plan of killing them softly. Losing 12 isn't ideal, I'm sure. Please don't evade. Thank you. And let's turn you. And then next turn, we will attack. All right, now uh, you, my friend, let's block off their retreat so they have to go. Um, can't charge that unit up. Okay. Um, blocking off their retreat so they have to go this way. And uh, let's, let's see what I can do. I can't believe I... Well, that's what the undo move button is for. Impact. Ooh. I'm torn on that one as well. So let's just run forward with you. And let's come back to this. Actually, let's not. Let's see what happens with uh, this side battle here. In an ideal world, um, this unit will fall back. I can pursue it and get some some going, but that's clearly not the case. Um, let's actually wheel here. I'm still going to hold back because these guys are not doing well. Um, Come on, Mithridates, don't die. I always have units died way too early. I'm gonna engage with Javelin men and hope they don't get pushed back. Great, um, because basically I just want these guys to slowly die and uh, getting attacked from all that is a good way to do that. Also, they're disrupted, so having support is helpful. All right, let's cut back to this flank before we do anything else. Um, first of all, I expect you to die. Hmm. I can't because uh, zone of control, son of a gun, get out of there. Um, yeah, get out of there. Great, and uh, let's just get these guys fragmented so they don't cause more problems. And then as soon as I can do that, Perfect. Then next turn I can start bringing my gentleman around to bother that elephant before it causes more havoc. Let's kill some of those. Just keep on. I should have moved closer, but... Oh, no, I shouldn't have. Perfect. Alright. I hope they're ready. These uh, Sutaria are ready for a constant stream of abuse from all of these light infantries. And uh, let's just kill whatever I can here. Great. Uh, you? That's what I wanted. OK, 
Okay, I didn't really want it that far, but that's fine. Um, you guys, let's attack. Great, now let's attack here. The reason I'm doing that is because if it goes poorly for them, which it didn't, um, I would be less afraid about this disrupted uh, unit, but so it goes. They're doing okay. That's just they can. Um, I'm going to charge here. Good, because I want to be able to charge here. And I don't want a bad uh, result causing more issues, but that worked perfectly. Great. All right, now you guys do what you can. Not ideal. <laughs> gonna, gonna go ahead and just say that's not ideal. Now this is a unit that I really need to do well um, because they're about to get attacked and I don't want to move that unit up there anymore, or at the moment. All right, and then let's just see what happens. Got a 4% chance of not losing. I like those odds. No, I don't. Take that back. They are going to be in trouble. Yep. All right. That's fine. It's not really fine. It's really bad news. Uh, but maybe I can kill that general. All right. Let us... Is that a combat I missed? I believe so. Ah, I should have done that one first. Oh, well. All right, now let us end the turn. All right, unfortunate that uh, legion legionnaire that was disrupted is no longer disrupted. But thankfully, we are dispersing some of the Roman troops. So it's not all bad news. Slingers are slanging. I don't know what else to expect there. Those guys are in the woods, and effectively, I think, out of my concern for the remainder of this battle. Oh, interesting. They're getting in on the action here. Well, that's not good for my horse archers. Well, oh, so far, so good. I can only imagine disrupted what this battle was like in history. It must have been so fascinating. Um, okay, see that's why I charged. Because if these guys can start routing and I can just keep on attacking, then that will be very helpful. So I'm glad at least one <laughs> that lead. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm glad at least one of my cavalry units could actually make it to my rendezvous point. Alright. Romans, as always, holding firm. They must have pretty, uh, pretty low chances uh, when they do the checks for getting disrupted. I oh, but pushed back. Well, I'll be. And that's why you don't always have to engage there. I'm hoping that these guys, since they actually haven't lost that many troops, um, they'll be okay. They've only lost about 100. Lots of rallying, because battles are going well. So this has been a pretty good uh, turn of combat for us, outside of uh, me absolutely ruining the good vibes, but that's fine. Uh, but because these guys are no longer, um, what do you call it? They're no longer uh, entirely fragmented, they're just disrupted now. I think that means we've got better chances. Ugh, that's what I love to see. Come on, horse archers, nice job. And uh, I kind of, ooh, disrupted. Mithridates pulling it together. Um, so my, my camera was pretty bad, so let's let's reassess. Um, disrupted, disrupted, disrupted. So this is the not good sector, we'll call it. However, this is the good sector. Um, so I am actually going to attack with my javelin in here, because, I mean, why not? 40% chance of winning, and they still drew. Stupid. 
So the reason I'm attacking with all these units is because I'd prefer if Mithridates is able to help with this side. Um, but I, I don't think that they're going to get disrupted or fragmented. So yeah, so we'll have our chance next turn. So with the center taken care of, let's move back out to the boonies. Um, let's turn around, say hello. And I'm just going to charge because they're up against the woods, so I didn't think they'd be able to route. And now they're fragmented. So there goes those guys. And before the Sutari I can rejoin the battle, let's do what we can to kill them. And uh, I'm going to move a few here. And I'm moving these units up here so the zone of control will, um, I think, prevent them from attacking my javelin men in the flank. Um, odds are I am incorrect, but. Um, oops. But maybe I'm incorrect in my assumption that I'm incorrect. And then uh, let's move forward here, turn, and shoot. Because that'll give me an, uh, an ability to do some damage there. Great, lovely. All right, now for this side. I like my odds here. We're evenly matched. We are the same unit, um, but I have the advantage. And so naturally, I lost that, of course. Come on. Oh, come on. I'm just going to keep this unit here because God knows what's going to happen with uh, this edge of combat. I mean, the odds still aren't exactly in our favor, but this unit has lost a lot. And um, I mean, 75% chance to draw is pretty good. So I'll take that when I can. And of course, that means there's a higher chance to actually win the combat, but uh, we don't always get that luck. All right, so these guys are getting absolutely destroyed, and such is the way of things. But I'm hoping that these raw legionaries are a little bit garbage. No, see, that's what happens. You insult the raw legionaries, and then they kill you. I'm really worried about this flank based on how this combat goes. Oh, not routed yet, so I just need a couple of draws here. Well, at least they're holding firm. I'm not even going to attack this unit. All right, let's keep on this side. Let's return to here. Oh, hello, flank charge. Exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, could it be fragmented? See, that is exactly what I wanted. So all of a sudden, cavalry plan A is back on, back underway. Um, so good. Now you guys, I'm just gonna gallop off here to help their uh, buddy, the uh, the horse archer. I'm still winning this combat. Um, actually, I'm not, but whatever. That's gonna be a kind of a hellish thing. Um, well, these guys are doing whatever. I am just going to firmly plop these right here. If they want to attack me, they can. And however, a 17% uh, chance to tie and 0% chance to win a combat is not exactly um, great odds, so we'll not do that. And then these legionnaires, which are taking some heavy losses, are going to keep on doing that, if I have my way. 43% chance to win, um, and we didn't, but that's okay. All right, I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing right here. And let's just charge. Ah, oh, he can go into woods, interesting. All right, and last but not least, our good buddy, the uh, Raw Legionnaires, which uh, 
call good buddy because I am apparently, uh, even in a video game where everything is coded and has chances and, and what have you, I'm apparently superstitious, and if I trash talk them too much, then, then there goes that uh, chance to win. So I am winning slightly. I would like to see a significant turn in the battle before all these units route, um, because if I don't, then that means I will soon have to kill 60% of the Roman army and not just 40%. I have to keep my losses under 25% again, um, in case you didn't remember that, to ensure that I'm not going to die a terrible death. Now that was pretty much the worst thing that could have happened on that flank. Uh, I got a little too close to the Sutarii, and uh, it caught one of my archers and routed them. But at least no one else... Uh, no one else got disrupted by that. This heavy artillery is deemed it uh, best to shoot my heavy cavalry behind them, which I guess I would be doing too, because as soon as these units sprout off of the screen, or they chase them off the screen, I will kill them. I didn't mean to sound so sociopathic in that. Uh, so he's going to break, and hopefully dis disperse. Shoot. I just wanted him to disperse because I don't want to be neater, I guess. Writing. Writing. Ha. I would not be opposed to a uh, Legion unit routing, but I'm just throwing that out there for uh, breaks. Ah, straight to breaking. That's not exactly uh, not exactly the plan. Also not to plan, but held firm. So I'll allow it. I really hope Javelin men are the one to kill these Legionnaires. That would be great. Breaks, 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 yep. Mm. Oh god. Excuse me, Mithridates is disrupted? What the frick? Come on, Mithridates. We've been building you up for four battles, and now you show up and you get disrupted after winning a combat? I mean, give me a break. Ridiculous. Alright, good, they're rallied, because there's no reason for them to be disrupted in the first place. I am judging them. And please break. Good. Good, because I am losing. Well, someone dispersed. I think that was probably my unit. Yep, it was. So I am losing something fierce here. So first things first. Um, come home. Oh shoot, I meant to stop a little earlier. Um, so everybody is going to shoot you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Because they will evade if you try to attack. That must be fun, to just be three sides of, of death. Let's see. Uh, well, two sides of death. And uh, I guess I'm going to turn and just shoot you. Not really sure what else to do. I'm going to hope that our even uh, even match here doesn't lead to anything bad. All right, better. I'm gonna hang out for a second just in case, um, because I would like to get somewhere with uh, this unit. If I can get a disruption, that would be helpful. No, huh? Yeah, that's actually the opposite of what I suggested, but now, I guess, let's see what happens. Hmm. My overconfidence is my weakness. Held firm. Well, we'll see what uh, our good friend Javelin Men over here says to say. How would it, great would it be if... Um, all my trash talk about the javelin and held firm, come on. Well, they're almost at half strength, so they will break soon. 
and uh, otherwise things could be going a little better, but uh, still can't do anything perfect. You can come to join the fight. Still hunt for him? Come on. Alright. You should die. Please don't run off screen. Don't run off screen. Yes. Perfect. So that's exactly what I wanted to happen. They did not chase them out of the battlefield, and that means this heavy cavalry will slowly turn around and kill this artillery. So that'll be kind of a gimme, uh, gimme uh, edge of battle there, as I described earlier. I right, get fell back, so that means uh, this combat will go all the better. Also good. Not bad, nomad light horse archers. Consider me a supporter. All right, I have 15 turns to not lose. Well, I have 15 turns to win. Um, but not losing is also good. Is this a flank attack? It is not. And I don't think it is worth it. But I will turn here, because if they try to flank attack here, which actually they might... Oh shoot, let's undo that. Let's move up here. And then, no, okay, well they still can't flank attack. So, it's better than it was. So they're going to chase, he's going to run, they might catch him, but then I'll be able to rear attack or flank attack. And guess who has a chance to take care of that problem? That's right, our friends over there. Alright, if you don't auto break in right now, I'm going to be upset. Look at, they're all dead. Like, they're all dead. Six? What? Six? Bunch of Bush League. Another imitation legions, but I mean, I thought they'd be a little better than this. Alright, now what to do? What to do? Well, that won't do anything. If I retreat, which I'm tempted to do, he might just rout. So. I'm gonna do the best thing, which is nothing at all. But then there's a chance that they could attack here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, let's turn. Zona Control tells me that... Uh, I'm not sure what Zona Control tells me because I forgot. No? Slight edge? Alright, let's call it good. Oh boy. Good news, that cavalry uh, unit there, the armored cavalry, stopped chasing that unit. Which means that all of a sudden I have... Well, actually that one according to plan. Oh, no it didn't. That did not go according to plan at all. All of my clever planning, oh Jesus. Um, so unless I'm mistaken, my entire line is disrupted. Yeah, I'm not mistaken, actually. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one, guys. Like, I'm always a little bit, um, what's the word? I'm like, I'll, I'll joke that, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this quandary, but, um, this is a big quandary. Oh, good. The light javelin would have rallied. That will make the difference. And they're off screen. Well, at least the raw legions are finally disrupted. has been the most disappointing battle. 
Well, if I do lose this and I have to play it again, uh, I can tell you what I will be doing, and that is um, actually getting a phalanx, because screw these guys, we should have stuck with phalanx. Technology innovation is stupid and pointless, and auto break, finally. Oh my god, finally. Someone's disrupted. Thank you. Alright. If that's not a, uh, a change of fortune, then, well, then that's it. But, good, Mr. Daddy's rallied. I didn't want to have to think that Mr. Daddy's was going to go down in history as a wimp, but, I don't know. I like how a charge downhill is a one death event, likewise. Oh well, um, you get out of dodge. You move towards it. And then watch this. Oh good, I actually can turn him. Uh, that's too bad. But they're going to keep on shooting him because uh, they know that he's coming. He's coming to get him. Alright, can I flank attack? It's not even a flank attack. What is wrong with me? Ugh. Boy, that was not a good battle maneuver. Now there was that. This is garbage strategic reason. Six and four. Six and four? It's like the saddest battle of Roman history. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to move these guys here. That way no one can flank attack me. Um, sure as hell not going to attack any of them though. Um, imitation legions. Oh look at that. They are in good order. So uh, please stay that way. Otherwise Mithridates gets flank attacked. Uh, well don't get pushed back. Good. You didn't get pushed back. Because that would have been the worst. Where are they that they think that they are facing? What the hell? Well, I'm not going to move them, because I don't understand. And what I don't understand scares me. But a flank attack does not scare me, and that's pretty much ideal. And, okay, so hopefully their uh, eagerness will be their undoing. Otherwise, we are in some serious trouble still. Well, I'll take a draw. No, held firm. About time I held firm. Cool. Who are you and what are you attacking? Oh. That's right. I remember that. That's why everything went sideways, because they were able to flank attack. Huh, it's funny, I hadn't realized that those javelmen actually started fighting each other. This is going to be a slow and stupid death for the Sutarii. Or I can get them disrupted. Huh, I'm just going to keep on killing them and see what happens. I mean, they're down in the 500s now, it's not the worst odds. And then let's swing around here. My plan is to charge. Um, the javelin men route them, hopefully cause some issues here, so I can get these 304i um, back into the main battle. All right, now for the rest of this. Please don't die. And, uh, these will die. Yep. Well, at least they routed it in an appropriate direction. I'm not going to attack them. Alright, that looks good, except for our, uh, mono-mono javelin battle. I feel like it's fitting to be done. Alright, some legions dispersed. That's what I like to see. Oh my god. Two rallies.
including our favorite general, General, what is his name again? Vitricus? Vitricius? Tell if I know. Fragmented. Oh, shoot. If you hover over the units in combat, it'll give you a, a little hint ahead of time. So let's see if I can find the next combat and figure out what's going to happen. Um, doing a lot of turning. Um, so here, for example, it still says steady, so I know no matter what happens, they're going to be steady. Um, but sometimes it'll say steady, or it'll stay that light color, but it'll say fragmented or disrupted or whatever. Um, and that's how you know. So it'll, like for instance, if they got fragmented, um, it would have still stayed, stayed yellow, but it would have said fragmented. And then if I mouse back over it, I would see it turn red. Oh wow, they shot 21 of those troops. Well, that's what happens when you get a broadside cavalry um, that close to a heavy artillery unit. Well, in terms of positive things, um, you know, the these fragmented legions on the edge are good. Um, that's kind of all I got right now, but I mean, there's a chance. It would be really good if some of these units decided to not just continue to rout. Like, they're not, I don't, I mean, they haven't lost that many troops, some of them. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Oh, shoot. I can't afford to have this one route. If this one routes, then the whole advantage is, is lost. Okay, good. 10 and 10? Ooh, 10 and 7. I wouldn't mind these, uh, this cavalry battle ending, though. Let's see what I can do to hasten that. Please die. And boom. Health firm. I hate it when they're health firm. <laughs> Alright, now what do I do with him? I think I'm going to have to pull that cavalry off to attack, because it's really important that I kill that unit. And uh, start to turn around. I think that's a dead horse right there. Well, it's dead somebody. Alright. Back at this. What happens if I attack the elephants? Terrible things. I shouldn't do that at all. Um, let's just keep on killing these, let's see if something happens. Let's get up close and personal. Because they're going to route um, probably the javelin mid next turn if they attack, when they attack. Um, so it'd be nice if they're at least fragmented. But alas. Alright, well. Is the saddest battle ever. Disrupted versus fragmented versus fragmented. But maybe they'll die. It's just because they're disrupted, the chances of them, you know, even now they're going to draw. They've got the low ground, they're fragmented, they held firm. It's positive. Um, before I do anything else, let's just see if I can uh, get Methodatis to, to show some positivity which he did. I'm basically just trying to get everybody's combats done with so that um, when terrible things happen, like with this guy, because um, if, if they were disrupted after these guys break, yep, bye. Oh shoot. There's a very real chance I'm going to lose this battle next turn. Wow, how did it go so wrong? Maybe it was that first turn. Here I was talking 
talking some trash about. Um, I mean, they're going to route. Yeah, see, it says routed in red. Holy crap. Mythodaddies, you son of a gun. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Even the javelin men can't save me today. At least they broke. Hey, that helps. Alright, what can I do to help? So, normally I would attack somewhere one of these units, but I need as many units routed as possible because... I mean, if... Okay, good, they're right in the smack dab of it. Um, basically, if the problem is... <coughs> pardon me, I'm so sorry. Um, problem is, if they route too many of my troops, I lose. And I'm about to lose, I can just tell you that right now. Um, they're going to route, and... Oh, no, they didn't, thank God. Um, well, someone's going to route, and probably these guys are going to get fragmented. Um, I need the Romans to be past 25% routed, or 22%. You know, I need three more uh, percentage. Otherwise, I am entirely SOL. Um, and then all of my whole... Uh, God, I don't know. Like, it's not a flank attack. <sighs> I'm going to move here with the hope that I'll be able to attack the, these guys next turn if I somehow survive the next round of combat. At least those guys are dispersed. Oh my god, if I lose on the Javelinman routing right now, get just fragmented. Flank attack. You son of a gun. That's far too many flank attacks. Oh, that's it. Unless I cause routes. Unless I cause some juice to route, that's it. Wow. You know, I'm going to be honest, everybody, I've actually never lost a battle playing this game. That's part of the reason I decided to do a video series, is because um, I hadn't lost a battle. I've been playing on the second level of difficulty the entire time, so I thought I was being a little... Um, I wasn't being that difficult, or I wasn't putting myself in the, the realm of too difficult to actually film this. Um, but at the same time, it's pretty rare you see a person YouTubing their video, or YouTubing their game and actually losing, right? I don't know. Shoot. Well, the, the lamentations of my men have pretty much turned into music for this round. I cannot believe that that's happening. Come on, somebody please rally. I need a rally. Just one. Oh my god, they're gonna break. That's it. There's there's no way I'm coming back from this. I've lost. It doesn't matter if some Romans rally or not. Because those guys are done. Rest in peace, buddies. Well, I haven't heard that noise before, but it's depressing. Wow, I uh, screwed that one up. Let's review this battlefield. All right, so what was going right? Um, things that were going right. This. This was going right. I should have chased him down, I suppose. Um, that was a mistake. This was going fine. He was going to kill both of those in two turns. This went okay. I didn't give them enough support, and so the Sutari ended up destroying too many units there. 
basically, I think what happened was the Romans got the high ground. Actually, they never did. They only got the high ground right here, which actually was enough to call that entire line. I mean, I lost some combats, but they're... I think I'm going to rewatch this after I uh, upload it just to get a sense of what I did wrong. Um, I know the first couple turns I really screwed up where a bunch of my light troops were just too exposed. Um, and I was overly concerned with the elephant, which actually literally never attacked anybody during the entire game. So maybe I did a good point, or I did something good in keeping it kind of a non-factor. But, and I mean, my cavalry was... Well, thank you everybody for watching. As you can see, I lost about 9,500 troops to their 3,200. Um, I had way too many infantry killed and wounded, obviously. Um, wow. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching. Looks like this video series just got a little bit uh, longer because the next one... Well, actually, I don't know. I think I will want to replay it and film it, but uh, tell you guys what. I will only film it if I win. So I'm going to play through it, act like I'm recording it like normal, but if I lose, I am not going to upload it. Um, so the next video you see of this, chances are I win. I'll not say how easy it is or how close it is, um, but I don't think you want to watch the same battle like three times, um, and two times as much is, you know, with this uh, battle losing um, in mind, at least maybe the next one will be entertaining where we can see what went wrong last time to what went wrong this time. Um, you know what? Maybe I should have picked a bunch more javelin men, but we will see. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.